Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. Uh, if you just built a Wix website using a template, uh, then you probably have a line looking like this in your footer. And today I'm going to be showing you a few small edits that you should be making to make your website look more professional and make your brand look better. So let's get started. Hi there, so welcome back. And as I said, this is a example of what a footer might look like. Um, if you are using a Wix template. And we have two things here that I would like to fix. One is that it says you're proudly created with Wix.com. And that's very nice kudos to Wix. Uh, and if you're using a free plan, then you will have some Wix advertising anyways. But there's really no reason to have this, no matter if you're using a paid plan or a free plan, because basically you're just advertising Wix on your brand, on your website. So what we can do to start off with is just go into this text here and erase this proudly created by Wix. Um, and there you go. So now that's already one step to making your footer look much more professional. And what we're going to do now is we are going to first just center this so it looks good. And we're going to deal with this copyright um, year. Okay, because when we first build our website, it'll say 2022, it'll say 2023. Um, and this copyright is very important because it makes your website also look more professional and it copyrights uh, everything on your website. And this is something that you'll likely forget to update uh, if you publish your website in one year. And we want to create a dynamic year inside of our copyright so that every year it'll update by itself and you won't have to deal with that anymore. And we're going to do that using two lines of code in Velo. So here I have my uh, dev mode open. If you don't, then you're going to want to turn on dev mode over here. And in order to add code for the footer, we are going to add code in our master page.js that you can go to by either clicking here, uh, open master page.js after I clicked on the footer, or you can go to page code and look here on the bottom for masterpage.js. And once you're in that page, any code that's written will apply to all the pages on your website. And this is where you want to write code for your header and your footer. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write some code that will get us the year dynamically. That means it'll get the year right now. And the way we're going to do that is using new date. So I'm going to say const year equals new date. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, I'm creating a variable that will store new date, which basically gets the date right now. And then all we need to do is to get full year. So basically what this will do is it'll shave our date down and only give us the year, the current year right now. Next thing we're going to need to do is we are going to need to edit the text of our element using code. So I called this text box copyright. And then we're going to edit the dot text. And we're going to say that this equals to a template literal. If you're not familiar with template literal, it basically is a way of writing a string and adding variables within the string. So let's say uh, we're going to use this copyright symbol. So I'll actually just copy it from the text that I have over here. Put that right there in template literal. And then here we're going to have our year. Uh, curly brackets, and then just use the name of the variable inside. And here we can just say by my one page. That's the name of the website. Okay, I'll just I'll change it to name of website so it's more clear to you. Name of website or company or whatever. Great. And that is the two lines of code that we need to create a dynamic footer. So let's test it out. I'm going to go into preview mode. And you can see that it says copyright 2022 by name of website. And in 2023, it'll say 2023. And in 2024, it'll say 2024. And you don't have to remember to go back and fix it. And you won't have a website that looks outdated in a year or two. So that is two quick fixes for your footer as soon as you start building your website to make your website look more professional and 
to make your brand look more impressive. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be putting out more videos like this every day, so stay tuned.